You're about to order vaccines for your district for the next three months. Order too little and you risk stockouts. Order too much and you risk wasting valuable vaccines. How will you estimate the needs of your district? Before you begin estimating vaccine needs, you must first determine which is the best method to use for your area. There are three main methods for estimating vaccine needs by target population, by previous consumption, and by the size of immunization sessions. This video provides an overview of each method, the advantages and limitation of each, and when it is best to use each one. Let us start with estimating by target population. Remember, Target population is the number of recipients within the targeted age groups, such as pregnant women and children, for immunization with a vaccine. You can use this number to estimate vaccine needs for your area. This method typically facilitates the most accurate planning, since it uses reliable demographic data. It also considers vaccine wastage, so you can avoid stockouts and overstocking. However, this method requires that you have reliable demographic data, which may not always be available. Without demographic data, you will not be able to calculate your target population. This is the preferred method for when target population data is available. It can be used for short or long-term planning at the national, sub-national, and health facility levels. A second method is to estimate by previous consumption. This method considers how much vaccine was used during a specific period of time. Whatever that number is, will tell you how much vaccine to order for a future time period of the same length. An advantage of this method is that it does not depend on target population data. You can use this method for both short or long-term planning but it is best for short-term planning. There are some limitations with this method. It assumes that there is a relatively consistent demand of vaccines. It also requires reliable stock management data. This method is also difficult to apply for periods exceeding one year. There may have been irregular high or low consumption over the previous year that can be misleading when calculating needs for the next year. Estimating by previous consumption also allows passive planning as it only considers previous data. It cannot account for changes that may occur during the course of the planning period, such as changes in the target population due to seasonal migration or changes in the program performance. In general, this method is not as reliable as estimating vaccine needs by target population. When is this the preferred method? The previous consumption method is convenient to use if target population data is not available, if you are in an area with a stable immunization program and a reliable stock management system. This method is best for short-term planning at the sub-national and health facility levels. It is also best for locations with high coverage. A third method is to estimate by the size of the vaccination sessions. For this method, you will need to know the number of vaccination sessions planned for an upcoming period, as well as the number of recipients expected at each session. This method does not require demographic data or stock management data such as inventory or wastage rates. If you use this method, it is easier to control the size of the immunization sessions, thereby limiting the number of vials opened per vaccination session. But there are limitations to this method. This method promotes passive planning and does not involve monitoring of vaccine wastage rates. This method is most suitable for short-term planning, such as estimating monthly or quarterly needs. It is also most appropriate at the health facility level and for outreach sessions. 
you should now have a better understanding of the three methods for estimating vaccine needs.